It's time to have a very good time. Hey everyone, welcome to Princess of Gay. I'm your host, Connie, and today we are here with my blind reaction to Paddington. This is a donation reward for Venom, and yeah, I have heard people unironically say that Paddington 2 is one of the greatest movies of all time. I have no idea why. I haven't heard like any like details on why they think that. But I have, without any sense of irony, heard people say this. And it is the wildest shit to me. Because it's like, okay, I think of Paddington Bear. I think of this cute little, like, kid storybook thing. Or uh, I think it was, like, an animated series as well. Um, but, like, nothing, like, spectacular or special. Nothing altogether interesting. Like, basically, like, Winnie the Pooh's less impressive cousin. That's that's the kind of shit I think of when I hear Paddington. Um, also, I think Paddington is British. I, I think it's a British series. Um, but yeah, there was a live-action movie that came out, and I almost heard no one ever talk about it. The second movie came out. I also I also wasn't hearing anyone talk about it. And then suddenly, like, years later, people are saying, like, oh, it's one of the best movies ever made. It's like, the fuck? Paddington? Paddington. The Bear movie. And not, like, the Revenant the Bear movie. The, 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 the children's Bear movie. Really? But people say this without any sense of irony. Like, they, they are genuinely meaning it. And that gets me interested. Now, like I said, it's Paddington 2 people are saying this about. Uh, but I have heard people do like the first one as well. And I don't know much about this. Like I said, there's like books, uh, children's books and whatnot. And I think like a series or two uh, of, of animations. Um, but like, I don't know like any story or, or character specifics. I never really checked it out much. I, I was more into like Berenstain Bears or... Uh, Winnie the Pooh in terms of children's bear content which was weirdly there was a lot of that why was there so many like children's shows and books and whatnot based off of bears like seriously there was also the country bears bear in the big blue house what the fuck is there some kind of conspiracy going on here or do children just fucking love bears well, what is happening here like my <laughs> I'm actually, I'm being serious here. This is actually kind of blowing my mind because I was not thinking about this beforehand. Um, I kind of just like naturally came into this realization as I was, as I'm recording this. And it's just, it's blowing my mind how much bear content there is for children. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> there is so much of it. Like, there's definitely more than just that too that I'm just not thinking of. It's like, wow. Oh, uh, Brother Bear. Brother Bear. Yeah, that's another one. I haven't seen that movie, but that's another one. W what the hell? <laughs> Why is there so much bear content for kids? But, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Either way, yeah, like I said, I grew up with, like, Winnie the Pooh and Berenstain Bears. I, I never really got into Paddington. I know of Paddington. Like, it was definitely something I always knew about. But I, I never really got into it. So I, I never thought of checking out these movies before. But I'm sorry. The, the the amount of like praise that people give to the second one especially. just I, I'm just curious, you know? I'm just curious. Like, there's got to be something here. There's got to be something. Also, going back into that, like, tangents about other bear stuff for children that I was just having. Uh, bear in the Big Blue House was the shit growing up. Like, that that stuff was, like, that, 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 everybody loved that. Like, that was a thing, like, at least in my area, like, everybody would talk about that when we were kids. Like, that, that was the shit, for sure. And, yeah, it's just, it was something that was, like, 
I, I watched all the time. So it wasn't just Winnie the Pooh and Berenstain Bears, but you, you, you know. I never got into Paddington. So yeah, like I said, I don't really know what this is about. I don't know what to expect from this, but I am just so curious. I, I, I just, I want to know. Um, now this is, interestingly enough, I know this is live action with like the CG uh, Paddington character thrown in. Kind of like, I guess, Christopher Robin the uh the movie with Ewan McGregor that you know is like a grown up Winnie the Pooh thing but it's live action with like the characters in like CG designed to look like actual stuffed animals which by the way that movie is great Ewan McGregor is a fantastic grown up Christopher Robin um but yeah the movie is great um I'm curious if this is going to have that same kind of vibe to it I'm curious if it's going to be similar uh, cause if it, if it has that same vibe, I'll probably be into it. Uh, but yeah, I, I expect, like I said, I think it's a British property, so I, it's probably gonna take place in England, maybe even specifically London, or just another, you know, place in England. <laughs> I, I don't know, London is where a lot of, you know, British media takes place, let's be honest. Um... It's just the, it's just kind of the go-to for England. Um, unless you're Doctor Who, in which case it kind of just goes all over the place. <laughs> and not even just all in England. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I'm just curious. I'm just, I, I'm just curious as to like what this is going to be like. I, I genuinely have no clue at this point, And I'm very very excited to find out more honestly about what this is going to entail because i i definitely want to get to the second one just to see what all the hype is about and i can't do that without seeing the first but speaking of seeing things there's a lot to see on this channel <laughs> Uh, we have a lot of uh, stuff going on currently on the channel, a lot of stuff to check out every single day. We have uh, reactions, series reactions, every day of the week, Monday through Friday. We also do YouTube stuff on Monday, and every weekend on Saturday and Sunday, we do movie reactions like this, though these are pre-recorded during the week, um, but they are posted on the weekend. You're seeing this on Saturday. It's being recorded earlier on in the week. We have also started Spider-Man 2 on the PS5 this past week. And yeah, we're doing that every Tuesday and Thursday currently. So a lot of, a lot of fun stuff to look forward to. Look at all of this stuff we have on the channel. Uh, but the, the schedule is going to be changing up a little bit. Uh, you might have seen the, uh, the updates left earlier in the week to discuss that. Things are going to be changing up a little bit. So keep watching. Keep watching these videos. Keep checking in with the channel. To see how everything changes. Uh, for the time being though. Uh, yeah. Thank you as always so much for tuning in. And for now. I'm Connie and I'll see you. At the reaction. And we are back. And we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1. Now. Would you look at that. My pants has been charmed off. And that's no surprise, because I found out this is directed by Paul King, the same director as Wonka, which charmed the shit out of me at the beginning of this year when I saw it in theaters with my uh, church group. And, yeah, <laughs> this was this was charming as fuck. This was a great movie. And for people to say that the second movie is not only better, but one of the best movies of all time, and for people to say that completely unironically really has me excited for when I do end up getting to that. Because this was great. I ha I didn't know what to expect going into this. Um, Like I said, I knew about Paddington, but I didn't really know Paddington. I was always into the other bear stuff <laughs> that, uh, that there were when I was a kid. Again, Bear in the Big Blue House, Winnie the Pooh, Berenstain Bears, that kind of stuff. But instead... Um, or rather, not instead. I, I confused myself there. Um, but 
I never really got into this one. And so I didn't really know much of anything. Like, I've seen what Paddington looks like. I know about the character enough to know, like, oh, he's a bear. He wears a hat and a coat. Though I did forget about the coat for a while. Um, but I didn't know what to expect from the story at all. Uh, or some of this cast. Like, holy shit, this cast. Um, and, yeah, it was just charming as fuck. And it, it's funny, too, because it's like... This being the same director as Wonka, uh, Sally Hawkins, who was Mrs. Brown in this, was uh, Willy Wonka's mother in the Wonka movie. And, and of course, Matt Lucas was in both as well. He was the cabbie in this. And he was Fickle Gruber, I think? He was one of the chocolate cartel in uh, <laughs> in um, Wonka as well. There's a there's a couple cast members who... who kind of go between them both um so that that's really fun I, I i like that but this also had some other cast members in it too that were like just big like hugh bonneville is a notable name you have peter capaldi who was uh the doctor in doctor who um you have uh you have fucking nicole kidman as the villain like nicole fucking kidman one of the hottest, uh, most just awesome actresses out there. Like, come on, have you seen her in Moulin Rouge? Like, damn. <laughs> I, I've always been very attracted to Nicole Kidman. <laughs> um, you have just such a great cast in this, though. And on top of it, the humor is just so good. There's so many jokes that are set up, like, throughout the film that have this great, satisfying comeback at the end, such as the sandwich and the birds. Like, and, and then the fact that the one that actually caused her to fall off the roof was Mrs. Bird, which was so beautifully set up and I just did not see it coming at all, was like, I am astounded by how well that joke worked. <laughs> and the fact that her punishment in the end was to uh, have manual labor at a petting zoo the very thing that, like, was, you know, part of the reason why she was doing all this shit in the first place. Because she was so upset that her father's legacy had been ruined by, you know, the fact that he was a good person. And had started a petting zoo instead. It's like... This movie is just too fucking brilliant for its own... For its own sake. It's like, it's so smart, it's so clever... It's so well written. It's funny. It's charming. It's adorable. It's like, how could I not love this? Like, I'm actually really astounded by how well I enjoyed this. I I'm having kind of the same reaction as I had to Wonka. Because because here's, th here's the thing. With Wonka, it was a little different because I obviously knew about the character a lot more. I, have, I had seen the Gene Wilder, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, the I, I think that, that one's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Or is the remake Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? I don't know. I get that confused. But I saw the Gene Wilder one many, 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 many times. I've seen the Johnny Depp one many, many times. And so when I went into that movie, I already knew the character. But this was a backstory. This was It, it was a... It was a prequel that set up for what would come in the future iterations and all. And would kind of explain, or, or in the past iterations, <laughs> technically. And would explain kind of how Willy Wonka got to that point. And it was, it was charming, it was funny, it was creative, it was smart. It had amazing casting. It's like, of course I was going to love that. Of course I was going to love it, but it still surprised me by how much I loved it. I, 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 I really didn't expect to love it as much as I did. And now I come into this movie, I didn't even know this was by the same director and writer. I had no idea about that going into this. I only found that out afterwards. And, and apparently, by the way, there is a third Paddington movie in the works that's supposed to be coming out in November of this year. 
Um, but some of the cast has been changed for various reasons, like uh, Sally Hawkins basically just said like uh oh my time's up uh i i, I think i i'm ready to move on from this role and, and so she's being replaced by another great actress and um olivia coleman as well is going to be in the new one from what i heard um from what well what i saw when i was looking things up i didn't look up like anything else but i do know the title is going to be called paddington in peru so it's not being called like paddington 3 it's it has a separate name um but yeah, I'm just, I'm just astounded by how good this was. Like, the characters are all just exceptionally charming. Like, you, you, you grow to love all of them. The, the, the comedy is great. It's like, it's just so funny and spot on. Like, the one thing that I would say could be seen in like, okay, this maybe didn't age as well as we would have liked is the part with the cross-dressing scene and everything, which a lot of movies have had. <laughs> There's a lot of movies that have had cross-dressing scenes, weirdly enough. That that used to be a bit of a trope. Um, but I don't think it was handled too terribly. I don't think it was handled, like, in a very, um... <sighs> God damn it, what's the word? I hate it when this happens. I, I don't think it was a, handled in a disrespectful way. Like, there, there's very much cross-dressing scenes that can be handled very disrespectfully and can be almost seen as, like, mocking trans people, even. Um, I don't think this was handled that poorly. I, I think it was just goofy fun. It, it, it was, I guess you could say, more in the same kind of vein as something like uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Except, obviously, with less of a deeply emotional reason because mrs doubtfire had a bigger reason for it <laughs> um but it, it's more in that kind of vein where it's done not in a disrespectful way but more in a just a goofy fun way not not really anything terrible not anything bad and believe me there has been some bad depictions of that kind of stuff so um I, I'm, I'm okay with the way it was handled but if, if there's like any trans people or, or anything out there who finds it a little distasteful that that's understandable i can see that but for me i think it's fine i i think it was i think it was well handled enough to where it wasn't really that bad um but yeah it's like this was why and it even got really dark this movie got dark like talking about like stuffing and like kidnapping and stuffing animals um, the uncle dies at the beginning, and it's like, Jesus, fuck. It's like, this got, this gets intense at some points. It's like, a lot more so than you would think. And it's just, it's so well done, though. To where it's like, even when it gets intense, it's like, you notice, but it never feels like out of place, necessarily. And... I just enjoyed the shit out of this. Like, I just had a, a, a blast watching this. I was so engrossed. And I don't, I, I, like I said, I never really got into the original stuff. So I don't know if the original cartoons or books or whatever were like this. Um, because it's something I never really checked out. So I, I can't say if this is like accurate or if it's like a modernization of like the story or maybe the books or whatever didn't even have much of a story and this kind of gave it one i don't know i cannot tell you but all i can say is that uh this was just a ride that i did not know i was going to be going on today i was not expecting this at all and it actually, like, really, like, brought up my mood quite a bit. Like, because, don't get me wrong, the other stuff I've reacted to today, the stuff I record, on the day I'm recording this. Remember, you're seeing this on Saturday, but I'm recording this back on Wednesday. Um, the other stuff I recorded today, like, I, I enjoyed, I very much had fun with and everything. But, I don't know, for some reason, I, today, I, I kind of woke up and was not, like, in the most enthusiastic mood like i wasn't in a bad mood by any means i just was kind of like 
unenthusiastic about things. I was a little... I, I just felt a little off, a little bland. I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But this, this raised my mood a lot. So I'm really glad I watched this. I, I, I just really, really felt like I needed just a little bit of something to pick me up. And it gave me this whole ass amazing experience. Again, people unironically say the second movie is just that much better. And, and just... I, I, I can't wait. I, I can't wait to see that. I, I'm definitely excited for when we get to that. That's going to be an absolute blast and a half. Like, I, I'm in. I'm absolutely sold on this director slash writer on Paul King. I'm sold on the character. I'm sold on these stories. I'm in. And, uh, may, hell, maybe Paddington Goes to Peru, a.k.a. Paddington 3, will eventually come down the line as well. I don't know. Uh, but at least the first two Paddington movies. Uh, the second one is definitely uh, going to happen. <laughs> um, so yeah. Thank you all so much for tuning in as always. But just as a reminder, this isn't the only thing on the channel. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff we're reacting to on the channel currently. Uh, have a lot of different shows we're going through. A couple every day of the week, Monday through Friday specifically. We also do YouTube reactions, mostly just, you know, um, stuff that people request as donation rewards. We do those on Monday. Every Saturday and Sunday, we have movie reactions such as this. They're recorded earlier in the week, but I put them up on the weekends. We also have Spider-Man 2 every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, my first PlayStation 5 Let's Play for the channel, and already I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Uh, a lot of great stuff coming in the future. A lot of uh, stuff that uh, is going to be switching around and everything. Hope you're excited for more to come. So, as always, and once again, thank you so much for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.